Boom. Friendly reminder from me, floating ISP head. Today is the very last day you can pre-order the cool Hoi 4 A to Z shirt. Look at that. Wow, amazing. Thank you for all the people that have pre-ordered the shirt. Now on to the video. Link down below if you want to get it last day to do so, and then it's gone for good. Hi. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the only Hearts of Iron 4 YouTube channel in existence. That's right, it's the Hearts of Iron 4 YouTube channel. Ugh! Pain, suffering, misery, we have it all, and today it's all gonna be wrapped up into one tasty little mod. See, my favorite thing about Hoi 4 is that you can really tell what you're getting into just from the loading screen right here. The main main title screen here, you can see everything that you're gonna see. You're gonna see a tank, a uh, German man over there, fire burning, and then most importantly, this guy's screaming for help down here. Go ahead, install Hoi 4. Quick word from today's sponsor though. That's right, today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Secure yourself online today by signing up with Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN has a variety of different tools to keep you safe online, like the Clean Web tool, which will scan any websites you go on for any malicious content. Pretty nice. And on top of that, of course, it's a VPN service. With a click of a button, you can access region lock content not available on your or devices. And now with over 3,000 servers in 95 different countries, you can finally say goodbye to region lock content for good. But the most important feature for me is that you can use Surfshark VPN with one login on all of your devices. That's right, unlimited devices with one login. And if you go ahead and sign up today using my link down below, not only will you get yourself three months for free, Surfshark is also giving away their antivirus for free during this month of June. And of course, if for whatever reason you're not happy with Surfshark VPN, you can get yourself a 30-day money-back guarantee. I use Surfshark every day. It keeps me secure online. And with the fact you can get yourself 83% off and free extra months for free with some free antivirus for the uh, sign-up in June, you got no other reason not to do it. So thank you very much, Surfshark, for sponsoring the video. Get yourself started by clicking my link down below. All right, I'm not lying when I say today, um... It's, it's going to be a little chaotic. As such, we must play the Harbringer of Chaos themselves, Switzerland. It was a little tricky trick. I'm actually playing Germany. And select the duration between each event. We'll go with the uh, recommended 35 days. And if you want a brief excavation... Sorry. Um, I just entered a parallel universe there where explanation was pronounced explication. So what's going to happen today is in 35 days, something's going to happen. Will it be good? Will it be bad? It, it'll probably be bad. Uh, but until these magical 35 days run down, let's go ahead and do a normal Germany game, shall we? And I like to start off with a bit of industry. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and see what this first event is gonna be all about, shall we? Our generals of pro- <laughs> That wasn't bad at all! Oh, damn! Okay, Mr. Rubble. Uh... I don't think this video is going to be bad at all. I, I, got a, I got a good feeling about this Hoi 4 game today, you know? I've been wanting to play a Germany game for a while. Now I'm, I'm like supercharged Germany with generals that already are out the wazoo. Oh, next event, major economic crisis in democracies. The people will turn to extremes. Uh, is that going to be good for us? Uh, I'm sure we... We don't have to worry about that. I mean, hey, them having the Great Depression, though. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. We're, we're doing okay here. Always feels like things are going a bit too well for us, doesn't it? Unification of China. What? Uh... Just... Uh, yeah, questionable, but I think that's still fine for us, maybe? Ideological influence is one of four every country. Oh, no. Okay, things are going to be getting a little bit complicated politically to everyone's little pie charts over time, I think. Uh, we also, personally, may not be accepting Mr. Mustache for too long. Oh. Okay, that most certainly will complicate things too. I can invite China to my faction now. Uh, sure. I guess, um... 
we can be friends. Uh, I'm not gonna join any wars, though, potentially. Oh god, random traits for leaders. Uh, okay, so right now we got the political power 25%. Please don't give me anything terribly. That's actually pretty dumb. <laughs> this is going great! Oh. Not too sure why it comes with a picture of Neville Chamberlain, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that that is bad. Uh, that's very bad. Oh, <laughs> you know, I did think things were going a bit too well, really, with this mod. <laughs> Great! Did they just they just take Mr. Rommel with them? They did. Okay. Well, I didn't want him anyway. It's, uh, it's fine. Uh, it's definitely a little bit of a set setback, but not the end of the world. All right. Civil War wasn't that bad. Okay. Sure. You know, we uh, we lost a bit of progress there. A lot of equipment. All our generals that are good. And uh, good news is though, after the Civil War, we lost our uh, bad economy trade. So yeah. You want to fix the economy? Go to war with yourself! Uh, yeah, there's also a few other civil wars going on between all the other authoritarian states in the world, and, uh, yeah, that might put, uh, uh, put, put a bit of a damper on our faction, eh? Oh, they, they've given me a bit of a break here and just given me some phone power. I'm very thankful not to Oh! Oh yeah, we went to war, so Mifo's gone. The economy's back in the dirt! Interestingly enough, the Spanish Civil War that came through the event is going on, while also the Spanish Civil War from the actual game is going on. It's actually a double civil war now. Every state at production 100 in Corsica. Oh, yeah. That's, uh... That's a lot of oil! Okay, yeah, that every every single state now has 10 billion oil in it. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit of oil on the market, I see. Uh... Well, I, I guess I now own London. Uh, it's getting a little bit complicated, really, around here, but I think I might use this to my advantage before I turn into another civil war. Well, I've now been moved up to free trade. That's... Not great. What well, the? Uh, you know, I did think there may be a bit of a downside to be given London for free. Hey guys, it's Civil War 2! You know, it's fine. I never wanted to actually have any generals this game anyway. I think the best part about that is literally just before that event kicked off, Italy just finished their Civil War and they're back! Surely, okay, you guys are gonna learn your lesson this time and not try this little silly shenanigan again. Well, what am I kidding? He'll be back next week anyway, regularly scheduled. Earth of new st- oh god, please tell me nothing just broke free from me. Okay. That's fine. I say fine. It, it's probably gonna complicate things even more, but for now, I'm just happy it wasn't another civil war. Oh, because, uh, France has fascist influence, uh, <laughs> I, just, I just got a non-aggression pack with them, you know, I give them a bit of it. military access, yay, we're well, best friends, France! Global militarization! Nah, that's just a... oh wait. Every single state. Okay, I'm at 98 factories right now. What happens when I click this button? 121! Uh, things are rapidly getting a little bit more comp- I need to get off free trade, okay? <laughs> Mutiny's in the rank. Let's find the deal. 250 PP, not bad. We can't do anything. That's absolutely horrendous. And kill them all! Another civil war! Okay, I'm just gonna reluctantly hand over all of my political powers to these men in the Alps. That's gonna complicate things a little bit. Yeah, uh, I was just about to declare war on the UK. Well, uh, everyone wants to join my faction. Uh, that's great. Sure, why not? Everyone get in. Uh, we are currently accepting all ideals, which makes everyone love each other. Alright, well, let's see how this gets very complicated very quick. There's nobody here. SPREAD OUT, BOYS! Oh, it does mean I have to capitulate China to win this war, though. Okay, this is gonna be fun one! <laughs> and Mifo builds are back! Oh, yeah, that was very easy. Killing the UK at the start of the game is not hard, but, um... 
Okay, getting over here to help is probably going to be the hard part. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm not even in Japan's faction anymore. So... I'm gonna have to do something here. Who in Japan? Oh, what's going on? All right, they're still in a civil war. Okay, so <laughs> the Japanese People's Republic. Okay, this is complicated. Okay, things are about to get very complicated. Never mind. I think because we haven't unlocked the nuke tech, we are fine. Uh... No? I can drop a nuke on China right now. Alright. You're communist. I'm not communist, but we have a common enemy. The state of Japan. I mean, uh... I'm just helping out. Oh god, please tell me I'm not an unstable state. Okay, thank god. New government building, 12... Okay, that's a lot of political power. That's great. That's actually amazing. Oh, well, uh, if we weren't getting closer to 100% world tension, that'll definitely do it. I'm just gonna make this invasion a little bit quicker and easier. I think, uh, that should speed things up. Oh, great, there we go. Our generals are brilliant again. I'll take that one. The Soviet Union threatens America... Don't mind those nukes. Uh, focus on the event. Um... Oh. Okay, please don't declare that war. Chen event where every faction just got dismantled. That's great. That means everyone just went off the front lines. Yeah. But it also means the UK wasn't in a faction with China. Perfect. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to take any of India. I was just after the British mainland, which I took. So uh, feel free, Japan. I somehow have the feeling that more land in this game, particularly this mod, is probably a bad thing. Uh, I'm, I don't think I'm going to join any factions because uh, I didn't realize there were so many... Other things going on in the world. It's interesting. Uh, I'm now all the Soviets and the French. I ain't even sure how. Oh. That's gonna complicate things a little bit. I love how they just stole a whole bunch of my men from China. They just magically teleported all the way back here. I, I think uh, you're on your own with China. Japan, I'm going home. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> so just nuked Hanover. They're going on a nuking field day. Let me just assume, yep, uh, when the Civil War happened, they took my planes too. Great! I forgot that like, every nation has a hundred nuclear bombs. I <laughs> just keep nuking me. German Vichy Pact. Uh... <laughs> okay, it just, just stole seven France. Oh, like, it just immediately disappeared. <laughs> okay, great. Just can pretend that didn't happen. It, you know, I think it's finally time we remilitarize the Rhineland. The German right claim the world. I should, did I just get a claim on everything? I think I just got a claim on, yep, every single province. That means nothing to me. Oh, well, um, yep, yeah. <laughs> Poland's getting nuked by someone. Like, okay, it's, it's just endless nuclear bombs, really, in Poland. Uh, I, I don't think the Stalin's taking, <laughs> getting pushed back too well. Here you go, Poland. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll save you some <laughs> something. Is there anything left to save down there? <laughs> you know, I was actually pretty surprised surprised they went ahead and accepted that, but I get the feeling the Czechs might say no. Frankly, I have a claim on the entire world so I can very quickly destroy the Belgians. Not that it matters, because, uh, France just lost to their civil war. Italian Normandy. Yeah, uh, I did not think they were gonna say yes to this. I was a little bit worried about the Sudan line, though, so, uh... Better safe than sorry. The Great Colonial Crisis. Do I want to know what that... Oh, no. Well, there's like 10 billion civil wars now kicking off in the world. I, I haven't looked at India in a while, but hey, the Union of the Red Dragons. Oh, something happened. And we just got ourselves a peace conference, and I'm not too sure why. Oh, um, well, I... I guess he got bored... And now we've got Walter Schneider! Wow, Walter Schneider, the compassionate gentleman.
I'm so glad we get the relations opinion bonus now. Oh, I just knows there's a lot of troops named one tile there, and I have the ability to nuke them. Yep, don't don't mind if I do. Uh, yep. <laughs> there, there they go. <laughs> Goodbye. So this ain't exactly the most logical uh, invasion of the Soviet Union you've probably ever seen, but it's the best we've got. And also, apparently, we're up to scraping the barrel. I'm just gonna preemptively lower that back down. Uh, I say me, actually. It was Walter Schneider, true leader of the German people. I'll choose a national spirit. Nationalism, war support, which, uh, yeah, we could do with. Uh, manpower and mobilization speed. Don't really need that. Or liberalization, which we don't need that either. I'll go with the war support. The British impose attacks on us. D where... Do they exist somewhere? Uh, I guess the Union of Britain does exist. Somewhere. With Jeremy Murphy? Oh, uh, thank you very much, Chaos Mod. I... I definitely needed this, didn't I? No. The hero of Germany! Walter Schneidel's been murdered! Why does it say he was incompetent? He was a hero, goddammit! Now... We've got another Walter! Uh, Walter Hafner doesn't even have any traits. Thanks, Walter Hafner. Wow. Okay. That could have been a lot worse. Oh, total war. War tension increased by 100 and Walter Hafner gains a trait warmonger. <laughs> well, I'm glad you finally have a trait. Oh, if you're wondering, like, how the faction situation looks like, by the way, um... My, your faction name here, I didn't even realize it was called that, we're doing okay. Yeah, we're up against the the Belarusian Compact, which is just all of the East over here combined. And uh, America, they fell asleep. Yeah, I'd much prefer them to keep that boy, because I currently have to kill China too. And China, I, I don't know if you know this, is actually kind of strong right now. American Liberian Switch. Um, does... Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, there we go. Now we just need to deal with China. Somehow. Um, uh, well, that does complicate things a little bit for us. Um, but... Did that even work? Yeah, I didn't think that would work because you, um, you don't exist. You capitulated Soviet Union. I realized I just got like this <laughs> lone German division there. <laughs> Where are you going? You're in the Gobi Desert. Oh, wait, well, yeah, no, never mind. There it goes. The Soviet Union has, his, his there's, there's two of them. And Communist China has entered the Battle Royale. All right, not too sure how that happened. <laughs> the Soviet Union just capitulated again, this time to China. Copy this, China! Uh, I don't think they're... Oh, hold on, wait, does that say Communist China? Please tell me that doesn't work. Right? That did not work. That would have complicated the borders here just a little bit extra than I wanted. I'm just gonna vent the game me all the tech the US had, which, um... Oh, wait, is this... I have a lot of these tech... Okay, I'm just gonna hold it. There we go. Yeah, that... I'll see you in a minute. Oh my god. It's over. Oh? There you go! I... Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure thing. You can have Slovakia. There we go! We did it! We won! Albeit, uh... Is this winning? It's 1941 and it feels like I've been playing for, like, till 1945. Uh, hold on. Let's just, uh, see what, uh, happens when this last one kicks off. Let's just have a look, shall we? Oh, there he is! Neville's back with some brilliant news! The economy's blown up! Thanks, Neville! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, we're done. Uh, this was the Chaos Mart. I think it was uh, very fun, very chaotic, obviously. Um, still trying to comprehend Liberia over there. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe button down below, and I'll leave the Chaos Mart down below too. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all on the flip of the vlog.